From 1914 until 1918, Salas Uritaco gave considerable thought to the necessary steps to be taken in order to widely spread the Sankirtan movement. Having received direct intimation from both his gurus and from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu directly, Salas Uritaco resolved to accept Tridandi Sanyas, the renounced order of life, on the occasion of the 432nd appearance day anniversary of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on March the 7th, 1918. Thus, he became known as Tridandi Goswami Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. He then established his preaching headquarters nearby Yogapit at Sri Chaitanya Mat, where he installed deities of Sri Sri Guru Gauranga Gandavika Giridhar. The Bhagavad printing press was set up at Chaitanya Mat, and the presses worked constantly for printing the message of Sri Chaitanya. That same year, a house was rented at Altadanga Junction Road in Calcutta, and a flurry of preaching and Sankirtan activities began. Many educated and influential people of Calcutta, such as Jagad Bandhu Datta and Sakicharan Rai, came to the Altadanga house to hear the lectures of Saraswati Thakur, and later became his initiated disciples. The place of preaching was called Bhaktivinod Asana, meaning the place of the conception of Bhaktivinod. Soon thereafter, he awarded Tridandi Sanyas to Sri Jagadish Bhakti Pradeep, a disciple of Bhakti Vinodhaku, and conferred upon him the title Bhakti Pradeep Tirtha. Tridandi Sanyas is the lifelong vow of unconditional service to the Supreme Lord with body, mind, and words. In 1920, the deities of Sri Sri Gauravinod Ananda were installed at Bhakti Vinod Asana in Calcutta and the spiritual institution for the widespread propagation of the Sankirtan movement under the name Gaudiya Mat officially started. In 1921, the annual Navadut Mandal Parikram began from Yogapit and thousands of pilgrims and devotees attended. In 1924, the first Vyasa Puja, celebrating the 50th appearance day anniversary of Salasuri Thakur, was held at the Gaudiya Mat in Calcutta. In 1925, during the Navadvip Mandal Parikram, Saraswati Thakur and his disciples were physically attacked by an angry mob of caste-conscious Brahmins, pundits and hired thugs in Navadvip. At that time, Vinodvi Haridas, later to become Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Maharaj, performed the heroic act of exchanging dress with Saraswati Thakur and diverting the mob while Saraswati Thakur was taken to safety. That year, the Vyasa Puja of Saraswati Thakur was held in Katak in Orissa, and he was given the title Prabhupad, meaning at whose feet many masters have taken shelter. 1926 and 1927 saw the publication of the daily Bengali newspaper Nadia Prakash and the monthly English journal The Harmonist. Not a day went by, nor a moment in a day, where Saraswati Thakur was not preaching and propagating the message of Sri Chaitanya. He gave much importance to the publication of Krishna conscious literature and called the printing press the Brihat Mridanga. Saraswati Thakur often said that the Kartala Mridanga in Sankirtan can be heard nearby, but the printing press can be heard around the world. In the course of 18 years, from 1918 to 1937, Saraswati Thakur published important literatures of the six Goswamis, such as Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Hari Bhakti Vilas, and Sakriya Saadipika. He published the Bhagavad Gita commentaries of Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur and Balade Vidyabhushanan. He also published Vrindavan Das Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavat, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami's Chaitanya Charitamrata, all the works of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, the fifth chapter of Brahma Samhita, and Sri Vyasadev's Srimad Bhagavatam. Saraswati Thakur's writing and publishing was indeed monumental. During these years, Saraswati Thakur also established over 64 missionary centers in India and abroad, and installed deities of Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna in all the main Gaudiya Mats, such as Sri Sri Gandavika Giridhari at Chaitanya Mat in Mayapur, Sri Sri Vinod Ananda at Bhagavazam Mat in Calcutta, Shri Sri Radha Damada at Krishna Chaitanya Mat in Vrindavan, Shri Sri Vinod Madhava at Purushottam Gaudiya Mat in Jagannath Puri, Shri Sri Gopi Gopinath at Brahma Gaudiya Mat in Alanath, 
and Sri Sri Nayanabhi Rama at Ramananda Gaudiamat on the Godavari River. During this time, Saraswati Thakur also conferred sannyas on a total of 21 disciples and sent them out to preach the message of Sri Chaitanya. Some of his prominent sannyasi disciples were Sri Bhakti Pradipthita Maharaj, his first sannyasi disciple, Sri Bhakti Hridaya Ban Maharaj, his leading preacher in Europe, Sri Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, the guardian of pure devotion, Sri Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, a great preacher of Srimad Bhagavatam, and Sri Bhakti Vicha Yajavara Maharaj, the last initiated sannyas disciple of Saraswati Thakur. After moving the deities from Uttadanga Junction Road to the newly constructed temple at Bhag Bazaar, Saraswati Thakur opened the first theistic diorama exhibition in Mayapur during the 1930 Gorapanima festival. The dioramas depicted the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya and the principles of devotional service. In 1932, Saraswati Thakur travelled to South India again, where he preached the Sankirtan movement at Sri Chaitanya and established the worship of Sri Chaitanya's lotus feet in several important holy places, such as Mangalagiri, the place of Lord Narasinghe, and Kovu, where Sri Chaitanya met Ramananda Rai. He travelled with a few of his disciples as far south as Mysore and Uti. At Uti, he wrote the forewords to Sri Brahma Samhita and Sri Krishna Chaitanya by Professor Nishikant Sanya. At Mysore, he was the honoured guest in the palace of the king Krishna Raj Vodhya. During his stay in Mysore, Saraswati Thakur lectured on the principles of Srimad Bhagavatam at the Maharaja's Sanskrit College and visited several of the local temples such as Nanjangur and Sri Rangapatna on the banks of the Kaveri River. Saraswati Thakur was keen to preach Krishna consciousness to Westerners. In his travels throughout India, he sometimes discussed philosophy and religion with persons like the German scholar Dr. Magnus Hirschfeld, Sir William Malcolm Haley, Governor of the United Provinces, and Professor Albert Southers from Ohio State University. Saraswati Thakur often made elaborate arrangements for Westerners to come to Mayapur to hear the sublime teachings of Sri Chaitanya. From South India, Saraswati Thakur returned to Bengal, where he laid the foundation stone at the house of Advaita Acharya in Mayapur. The Bhaktivinoda Institute, an educational foundation for the residents of Sridhar Mayapur, was also opened that same year, and many students were admitted. The first Vrajamandal Parikram began in 1932, and Saraswati Thakur and his disciples circumambulated Vrajamandala during the month of Kartik. Saraswati Thakur arrived in Vrindavan by car with many of his non Brahmin disciples. This created quite a stir among the Kaska Swamis of Vrindavan, and all the main temples closed their doors in protest. Only the Radha Raman temple opened its doors and welcomed Saraswati Thakur and his disciples. At the Radha Raman temple, Saraswati Thakur commented that he was getting the darshan of all the deities of Vrindavan in Radha Raman. So this is the very, I, I want to tell that this is the very close relation with the Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati and our great grandfather Madhusudan Goswami. And uh, he, uh, they have uh, together, they, they have preached together all over the India. At that time, the, the Adi Samajis, they were very powerful. And they want to criticize our, about that uh, deity worship and our uh, Gaudiya Vaishnava cult. They don't accept that Mahaprabhu was the incarnation of Radha and Krishna. They have said that only the Mahaprabhu was the great personality, but not the incarnation of Radha and Krishna. But our great grandfather and uh, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati, they have proved with the scriptures that Mahaprabhu was the incarnation of Radha and Krishna. And they have given the challenge to Adi Samajis. And uh, they have defeated them. And they have uh, accepted that Mahaprabhu was the incarnation of Radha and Krishna. So, at that time, that all the temples, they have allowed uh, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati. After that, that uh, he uh, he can visit all these Gaudiya Vaishnava temples and other temples, and he has visited and he has given the respect from the temples and the local Gaudiya Vaishnava sadhus. <laughs> 